Well guys, uh, good afternoon. We're uh, out of work and we're back at the ranch. We're going to go ahead and continue with this uh, DT-466E on the 2007 International 4300. Uh, last night it got dark so I stopped recording but I did uh, place that uh, head gasket on the block. I uh, did the double wishbone and I, di I didn't get it on tape guys. It was real dark. I I didn't record that. Uh, I kind of just set the head in. Well, let me show you. Well, guys, as you can see, uh, I set the head is just sitting on top of the block. Uh, I didn't get to record it. It was really dark last night. Mosquitoes getting me. I, I just didn't get it on tape. I sorry about that. But uh, I just set the head on top of the block to keep you know debris and stuff from falling in. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and set in all the head bolts. I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, lubricate the bolts with a little bit of oil and then I'm going to stuff them in all the little holes and get them just uh, just hand tight after that we'll go ahead and run the sequences uh, I'll show you guys uh, what the sequences are and then we'll go ahead and start torquing this sucker down so uh, let me go ahead and get those bolts in there and uh, just uh, kind of get them finger tight and then we'll go ahead and start torquing give me one second guys Well guys, what I did here is I just added oil to the bag and uh, I just kind of, uh, you know, kind of moved the bolts around in the bag that got them coated in oil. Let me go ahead and uh, start installing them in their corresponding little holes. You got 26 of these suckers, so it's gonna take a little while. Let me go ahead and uh, set the camera for time lapse because, like I said, I mean, it's gonna take me a little while, guys. You get all 26 in, finger tight, and well, there's one bag. We got all the bolts kind of not torqued. I mean, they have, they're they tightened to maybe, I don't know, roughly like maybe 15 pounds, give or take. So now I'm going to go ahead and torque them down to 110. I'm going to start with a middle two. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, I'm going to do one, two. And then I'm, I'm going to go off to the front. Three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten so i'm gonna i'm gonna go from the center and then go in circles all the way out to the ends at 110 p uh foot pounds of torque uh that is our first torque uh that is the first torque that we have to give this head 110 pounds and start in the center and go in circular motion all right I should have removed that bracket in my way, but I already started, guys, so I'll just keep going. I'll jump to the ones in the back.
these are not the this is not the hard work hard work is when you start doing those freaking 90 degree and the extra freaking 30 degrees that's when it gets tough but hey gotta get done Okay, and I already gotten those. Sorry, I missed it. Sorry, got, got the wrong one. Well, if you guys are wondering what kind of torque wrench I'm using, I bought this from Matco a few years back. Almost done, guys. Well, got like 10 more bolts to go. Almost there, guys. Last two. <clears throat> this gives you quite a workout. So far, I'm doing okay. Now I gotta kick this thing up to 150.
So guys, on this second run at 150 pounds, I already got my torque red set. Now this time, you're not gonna follow this little center and circle. Basically, you can either start in the back or start in the front. You're gonna go, you're gonna do all the ones on this side straight down, and then you're gonna come up on this one, and then you're gonna go down on this one, and then you'll come up on the last row. All right, you give all these 150 pounds, and then you can go ahead and move move on to the next step. So I'm gonna go ahead and start at the end. On the exhaust side, you have four rows. You have the two outer, and then you have two running up down the center. So I'm gonna give the outer 150 pounds. Almost. There you go. Now I'm gonna do my inner row on the exhaust side, starting from the front, going to the back. Let me go ahead and get this in time lapse, guys. It's gonna take a while. Well guys, uh, that was 150 pounds in all the bolts. So now I gotta mark the bolt heads with some white up. I'm gonna do four little marks. I'll show you how I do them and why. And then we'll continue this uh, torquing this head down. Uh, remember, we gotta do a 90 degree and then we gotta do an additional 30 degree. So it's a total of 120 degrees and it's in two steps. So uh, let me go ahead and get the white out ready and I'll come back to you guys when I start marking and I'll show you how I do it and why. All right, give me one second. Well guys, uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this white marker. It's a permanent marker and I'm gonna put little marks like they said 
uh, at 90 and then I'm going to give it an extra 30 degrees. I'll show you in a bit. Let me show you what I did, and I'll tell you what I'm going to be doing. Give me one second. Well, guys, on these, I went ahead and put two marks. I put a mark there, and 30 degrees, I put another one. What I'm going to do now is I got to torque those bolts and those marks have to be aiming towards you, towards the camera. So first I'm going to do the 90 on all of them and then I'll go back and do that extra 20. I'm going to set up the camera on the tripod and I'm going to do it on, on time lapse guys. I don't want to take too, too long. I already told you what I was going to be doing. Let me just get it on time lapse. I'm going to start from the center. Going circles, going out on both of them. I got them all torqued so now all we got to do is get that rocker arm assembly and push rods go ahead and get those tightened uh, installed and tightened then I got to get the feeder gauges and adjust a valve lash off of that rocker and uh, injectors high pressure oil rail so on and so forth Well guys, uh, we got the head torque, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. It's already late, i got to work tomorrow, but, I mean, we kind of cleaned up this engine a little bit, got a fresh coat of paint on there, that way it'll look nice. When Patrick picks it up, I mean, he's not going to recognize this engine. Uh, if it all goes well, it's going to be running great, and it's going to look a lot nicer, so he's getting... He's getting two for one, so. Well, guys, I'm gonna end it here, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. I'll come back to this in tomorrow and try and see if I can get this sucker completely assembled and hopefully start it tomorrow. Well, guys, appreciate you guys watching. Like and comment.